Hello my friends, it's Chelsea from Salon Adair. Um, I am going to review the five piece curler set um, by Sutro today. They are interchangeable, so it comes with the base and then um, there are five different attachments. So there are three clipless curling irons and two that have um, the clips. So whatever you're comfortable with, I chose this tiniest one because I have shorter hair and um, when you have short fine hair, the smaller you, um, the smaller barrel you use, the longer the curls will last. So I'm going to demonstrate how I achieve my look. So first off, um, this set comes with a heat protectant glove. I don't use this behind the chair, but for my clients, I do recommend it because a lot of you guys seem to burn yourselves. So um, I'm wearing long sleeves right now, which most of my clients burn their forearms. So be careful with that. Um, there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different heat settings. This iron goes up to 430. It is ceramic and um, tourmaline. So it's a high end iron. They run for $200, which is a very fair price. Um, it is a high quality iron, but also completely affordable. So Sutra has become my favorite hot tool and that is why I do all these videos with you um, to show you how they work. So first off, I'm going to section my hair. For fine hair, I like to do it in two sections. Um, thicker hair, I like to break it up in three. So the top section, I just like to separate it right at the top of my ear, half up, half down, and then you're gonna split straight in half, so the right and the left side. Um, and after you do that, I'm gonna actually take this off so it's easier for me to work, but you guys at home can keep that on. I split this side in half. If you're looking to achieve beach waves, I like to alternate my sections, so going away from the face and going towards the face, alternating back and forth. Anything that's by my face, I like to start off um, away from my face. So this side will go back and this side will go back. Another good tip that I like to use is um, when I work with my irons, I like to keep them pointed straight down, so, or at a diagonal section. So my first step is make sure you choose the appropriate heat setting for your hair texture. If you're a blonde, you wanna go a little bit lower. So I'm gonna start off with 360. Um, if you have virgin coarse hair, you're gonna go to 430. And just depending on, maybe you move a little bit slower when you're curling your hair, you're, wanting to, you're going to wanna to keep the heat down. So um, just keep those things in mind. You also wanna make sure you have heat protectant before you do any heat styling. So um, I like to use Heat Defense by Seven. You can use this on wet and dry hair. So I put um, heat protectant in my hair before I blow dry always. And I also put it on before I use my hot tools once my hair is actually dry. I also like to use swept once I style my hair. It's fine. So the curls will give me a lot of body, um, but this will actually give me a little bit more style. So those are my two products I'm going to show you how to use those as well and then I have a rat tail comb and a regular comb and a couple um, bobby pins okay so I have my hair half up half down and then split down the middle I'm gonna separate this into first section use my heat protectant I want to get your hair too wet but make sure you're actually applying enough for um, that section. My first section is going to be about an inch to two inches wide and I just wrap my hair around it. You don't need to hold too long. I like to keep the roots out and the ends out and just get that center bent in there for a beachy wave. The second section is going to be right behind that. This one can go towards my face if you guys end up curling your hair all in the same direction, you get more of a Hollywood wave. And if you alternate, the curls can't fall into each other, so it'll give you more body. Point it straight down. And this one. Here's 
you're just gonna hold it about 10 to 15 seconds. You can feel your hair. If it's too hot on your fingers through your hair, it's too hot for your hair. So just keep that in mind. And then that side's already done. Not too much hair, not too much work. Behind the chair, I talked to a lot of you guys and you say you don't know how to curl. It's really not that hard if you're sectioning properly because you get through the hair a lot faster. Same thing applies if you're blow drying your hair. Sectioning is everything. And um, you can finish your style pretty quickly. Straight down, wrap the hair around. I'm not getting that end in there or my root. Just hold it for a couple seconds and release. Just getting a little bend in my hair. And right behind it, I already have heat protectant on this section. This side, I have a little bit more hair than the left, so I'm gonna do three sections. Another tip is when you're um, styling the back of your head, if you can't reach perfectly, it's okay. Just make sure you're getting a bend in the hair. Um, you don't have to get a perfect curl. It's gonna be at the bottom of your hairstyle. So, um, you know, it just needs to have a little bit of wave so a little straight piece isn't sticking out the side once you're all done. And that's about it. You want to let um, your hair cool completely before you brush it out. If your hair is still warm, um, your style will not hold. It will fall out. So just this little section. And the smaller your sections are, you guys, um, the tighter the body will be, the bigger the section, the looser curls will be. So if you're in a hurry, you're going to work, you're trying to get ready quickly, you can take larger sections, especially if you're using a, a skinny iron like this, and um, just take a large section, wrap your hair, it's gonna give you a really soft wave and something you can achieve in less than five minutes. So my next step is taking the top down, splitting it straight in half again, and then a half again. I can use a clip just to keep that out of the way. Make sure you don't have any tangles. So you will iron those tangles in. Okay, your heat protectant. Coming to this side, I'm going to split this in half again. This time I'm going towards my face. Break this apart probably into 
the more sections you do, the more details you get. So I like to do the big sections first, and then um, once I finish and I just fluff up my hair, then I go closer to the roots on the top to give more details, but it's up to you, whatever you're looking to achieve. And your bangs are not gonna hold very long because you just want a softer wave, so just a little bend. Separate this side in two. Make sure you're not recurling the pieces that are already curled so you can kind of feel that there's texture on that side already. Apply your heat protectant again. Comb out any tangles you have. my last section. So this piece, remember, is going towards my face. If it falls off, just try again. Just like to run my fingers through it. Use a comb if you'd like. To use the wide teeth. I already set my part when I was blow drying in the center. So make sure you decide that um, as you blow dry where you'd like your part to be. And I'm getting body in my hair. Now, um, some of my clients like their roots to be a little bit flatter. I was born in the 80s and I like my hair a little bigger, so I'm going to take tinier sections right at the root and just detail my style. And this time I'm not leaving the roots out, I'm getting my roots in so I can have more volume at the crown. Back away from my face. Don't have to hold it too long. at like five seconds. Three to five seconds is good. And you can still alternate direction. It's just personal preference. The more you alternate directions, remember the more body you're gonna get in your hair. Sections. I want more body, so I'm not taking too big of sections for this iron. That's cute. And then this side, I'm right-handed, so I prefer to keep the iron in my right hand no matter what side I'm working on. And I also roll with my fingers to get closer to my root while I'm holding the tip of my section on that side. Alternating directions again. Okay. 
have a lot of new growth from my Sugar Bear hair and my Monet shampoo. Those are products I recommend a lot um, for people that are struggling with hair loss. The baby's nine months old now and I lost a ton of my hair and it's coming back with a vengeance. So if you have any um, hair loss troubles, make sure you message me and I can give you all kinds of tips and tricks and advice on how to battle that and get your hair back. Working on the crown. In the back you can't really see but you can feel so just picking up these sections that feel a little flat adding a little bit more body the less you do perfect sections the more unintentional and beachy um, vibes you're gonna get difficult. I know I am a hairstylist and I do this every day, but um, I don't do my own hair every day. So I know just working on myself with this new tool um, is pretty user friendly and you guys can achieve these looks at home without stressing it too much that you're not going to be able to achieve it or you're going to waste your money on a tool that you can't use. I do advise you to try something new. It's pretty fun. there we have it that is the sutra interchangeable styling iron this is what the case looks like it's two hundred dollars um, there are five different barrels so you get this guy um, two with a clip three clipless and this nice fancy case and that fancy glove. Let's see what else is in here. Um, there's a lifetime warranty on it, so that's another cool feature. And a swivel cord so you don't get it caught tangled. It has a really nice, gosh, it looks like about six feet um, for the cord. And then you push this little button and it pops off um, for you to be able to change the tip. It clicks in so there's no wobbling um, you can't actually accidentally burn yourself it doesn't fall off and um, it's really nice and smooth and bubbly and I highly recommend check it out guys thank you swipe up and um, you can purchase below bye hey guys it's Chelsea from Solana Dare again I um, just styled my hair with the sutra wand and I wanted to go ahead and show you a couple um, easy styling tips or style hacks um, that you can do with your hair. I have naturally really fine hair and I just use the smallest barrel that Sutra has um, with their interchangeable styling wand to get all this body in my hair along with um, Sevens Cubica swept hair or actually texture spray. This is my favorite um, product in their line. I probably use this on every single uh, person that sits down in my chair. It gives you volume, um, playful texture, and flexible hold. So it's not too stiff. It's good for all hair types. It's a little different than dry shampoo because um, there's just a little bit more texture. Some dry shampoos are chalky or um, 
you know, just good for oil absorption or they're a little stickier. Um, I can't really describe what this does for hairstyles. So um, in just a couple words, so I'm just going to demo it for you. Um, you really don't need that much to get body. It makes me feel like I have really, really thick hair. And I just divide my hair in a couple sections and kind of spray it around. That's plenty for my whole head. Use my fingertips and I just work it in right at the root into my hair. And I've got a ton of body. It's awesome. Um, next, what I'm gonna do is show you again how I do my little side braid. I just wanted to kind of demo a couple different hairstyles. So this one, um, I'm just gonna leave my hairline out a little bit, pinch a little bit of a square here, and pinch and twist and turn. Draw a line and turn. And this is my favorite way, let me get closer so you can see to show um, how to do a fake French braid in just a second. And it looks pretty stylish um, very quickly. That's all you gotta do. If you push back on it, you get a little bit more texture. If you pull tight, it's um, a little flatter to your head. Take a little bobby pin, open up the feet, and you're just gonna stick it right in the back. So the feet are going in this way and just spread it apart and that's that side pretty fun and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side except you're going to change directions so going back this way add in a piece of hair and with that texture spray what it's going to do is show you the definition between your sections I like when my hair color is grown out just this much because it shows the dimension in my roots, which gives a little bit more detail to this style. Open up the feet of this body pin. spray it's not gonna slip really cute easy hairstyle um, you can pull it half up if you'd like and get a little different look or just leave it down even pull the back up and how I like the detail lately is just pulling those little baby hairs down and making it look a little bit more bohemian easy and that's it thanks for watching hello again my friends it's Chelsea at Solana Dare I am going to show you how I achieve a mohawk hairstyle um, I just put a little bit of body in my hair with the sutra styling wand and um, this is a really easy style um, basically I blow dried my hair, I used heat protectant. I put a little serum in after I used the heat protectant um, and I was completely dry. And then I used Swept from Seven. So this um, is one of my favorite products. It's a texture spray. It's light enough for fine hair, but heavy enough to give you a ton of body um, with just a little bit of product. So I spray it through out my hair just like that much in each section not very much use my fingers to work it into my roots and then what i am going to do is section just like we did in the early 2000s when everybody walked around with this little bump i'm going to secure this part with the bobby pin Crisscross and then 
take my next section. What's kind of fun about this is leaving the texture and leaving the imperfections. Um, so I'm not even going to use a comb, just using my hands and making a little bubble in the next section. down the back of my head with another little bubble up in the back to give it a little bit more volume. Same bobby pin trick all the way back. And then I can just twist these guys. Or you can do a little more detail with the twist along the hairline, it'll pick up baby hairs. baby hairs down around my face. Get this a little spray. And I've got a little lip too. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello again, my friends. It's Chelsea from Solana Dare. I just styled my hair with the suture wand and it is crazy volume. I have been playing with Seven's um, Swept Texture Spray. It's my favorite product that they carry. And I have so much volume in my hair. I am going to show you how to do a fake fishtail braid. So this is my before and I will show you my after. One moment. All right, you guys, so I have crazy hair today. Um, I wanna show you how to do a fake fishtail braid. So this is my hair. I blow dried it with heat protectant from Seven, and then I used swept um, texture spray all throughout my hair after it was dry to um, fill my hair with tons of body, and um, here we go. So I'm going to start off with a center part. This is my rat tail comb. I'm going to section my hair straight down the middle. Use a little bit of my swept by Southern. I have lots of baby hairs, so I like to be able to get a good grip on them. And I just take a little tiny section on each side, a little pinch, and I'm going to crisscross these um, sections. So one and two. I'm gonna take my next section right behind that. You're kind of making like a little basket weave back and forth. Just taking a little bit of hair every time you cross.
crisscrossing back and forth. And you can see on the top of my head, I'm starting to form a little fishtail. So just going back and forth. Um, the swept has enough texture in it that it's helping my hair not slip, but it's still flexible that um, it's not like hairspray where I can't move my hair. So I wanna go about that far back. I'm going to use bobby pins and hold my place. Just crisscross my bobby pins right there. I can let go of my section now. And I have that fun little style up there. And I'm taking this rat tail comb and I'm just lifting up the center and it's going to give me a little pompadour and volume in there um, to make it look like a little up style. So you can see the top there. Looks like a little fishtail. And you can tease the back, you can leave it more smooth if you like. I like to have more body in my hair and make it a little more fun. That's my fast little style hack for a fishtail. Thank you for watching. You can also um, just pin the back up and make it an up style if you like. I'm using a couple more bobby pins. This is a style that will take me no longer than three to four minutes to get ready. Something you can do with bed head also, straight in the morning. One more pin. Pretty fun and simple and a little bit sassy. Thanks for watching. Bye.